so hello everyone today we are going to learn about patterns each of the patterns to be discussed today is called a matchstick pattern as different shapes or diagrams can be constructed with matchsticks so consider the, uh, the following pattern so first one is this one consider these four lines as matchsticks this is the first figure this is the second one the second figure like it keeps on following this is the second figure and this is the third figure so we can do this we can go until 50000 and 10000 but it's very difficult if you get a question like what is the 50th figure of this fi of this figure so you can't keep drawing boxes like till 50 so there's a trick over here just put i'll just draw another box over here and divide it into four and i'm gonna write n n stands for number and m stands for matchsticks the first figure has four matchsticks one two three four four matchsticks the second figure has seven and the third figure has ten so if you get a question like for find the math six for the 49th figure you can't keep drawing boxes like one two and like that that's insane so the formula is so we should see that how many matchsticks are increasing for each figure. So over here it was 4 and the second was 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's increasing by 3. It's increasing by 3. So I want 10. 7, 8, 9, 10. It's increasing by 3 over here. So the formula is M equals 3n plus 1 so let's check it out with the formula okay 3 into 1 because over here n the first one is 1 so i'm multiplying it by 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3 into 1 3 plus 1 equals 4 so we got the first figures matchsticks so let's try the second 3 into 2 plus 1 equals 3 into 2 6 plus 1 7 we got it so the third one 3 into 3 plus 1 equals 3 into 3 9 9 plus 1 10 so we got it correctly so we have a confidence that we might get the bigger numbers correctly so suppose you get a question like find the 50th figure so because it's increasing by 3 we should write 3 into it's 50th right so 3 into 50 plus 1 3 into 50 equals 150 150 plus 1 equals 151 so the answer is 151 so the 50th figure has 151 matchsticks so we uh, we can take another example for instance um, the 12th figure 3 into 12 You'd always write the formula first plus 1. 12th figure 3 into 12. We should find out how many matchsticks are there in the 12th figure. So 3 into 12 is 36. 36 plus 1 is 37. So there are 37 matchsticks in the 12th figure. You can check it out. It's correct. 
so i'm going to give you more examples so let's take the first one in the book in each of the following patterns construct the next figure in each case if n denotes the number of figures and f denotes the number of matchsticks used find f in terms of n also find in each case how many matchsticks are required to make the 16th and the 30th figure we should find how many matchsticks are used for the 16th and the 30th so the first one is this so let's start so as i told draw a box so we'll keep n and f they they said that find f in terms of n so i'm writing f instead of m so the first figure the second one and the third one the first one has 1 2 3 4 5 5 one two three four five six seven eight the second figure has eight one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven the third one has eleven matchsticks now we are gonna see how many matchsticks are increasing so 5 and 8 5 6 7 8 3 so 3 9 10 11 3 so we here 3 our formula is f equals 3 n plus so let's check the formula so 3 into 1 plus 2 equals we are going to check for the first figure 3 into 1 equals 3 3 plus 2 equals 5 so the first figure has 5 matchsticks and so let's check it for 2 3 into 2 6 6 six plus 2 Eight. So we got it. So let's check for third figure. Three, three into three plus two. Three into three nine plus two nine plus two eleven. So we got it. So now we can check for the sixteenth figure and the thirtieth figure. So now we got our formula here. So three into sixteen plus two. Three sixteens are forty-eight. Forty-eight plus two, forty-nine fifty. So the number of matchsticks used in the sixteen figure is fifty matchsticks. So now let's find for the thirtieth. Three into thirty plus two. Three into thirty equals ninety. Ninety plus two equals ninety-two matchsticks. So in the thirtieth figure, there will be ninety-two matchsticks. So we finish the first one. Let's check on the second question. So let's draw a box. Divide it. N and F. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. The first figure has five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The second figure has nine matchsticks, and third figure has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen matchsticks. So, let's see. How um, by how much it increases? The first one is five, six, seven, eight, nine. It increases by four and nine. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 4. It increases by 4 again. So let's write our formula. F equals 4 in plus 1. So let's take it out for the first figure. 4 into 1 plus 1 equals 4 into 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So we got the first figure's match sticks. So let's check it out for the second figure. Now we are gonna see for our second figure. Now 4 into 2 plus 1. 4 into 2, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. Yay, we got it. Now 4 into 3 plus 1 equals 13. 4 into 3, 12 plus 1, 13. So let's check it for our 16th and 30th figure. Now we are going to check for the 16th one. 4 into 16 plus 1 equals 4 into 16 is 64. 64 plus 1, 65 matrix. Now 4 into 30. 4 into 30 plus 1. 4 into 30 equals 120. 120 plus 1. 121 math sticks. So we found out the second problem's answer. And that's it. You can try many more diagrams like this. Math stick patterns. There are triangle things also. Like this. And so many more. You can try different kinds of math sticks and the answer will be the same every time. It will be correct every time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.